it was the summer of June 2021. I just finished my meditation course. I was feeling amazing. I was a 10 day silent retreat. Nine days we were silent and I just cleared all this crap out of my head. And then on my way home, my sister called and she said, I have some news for you. And it, you know when someone says like they're gonna tell you something and you're just waiting for them to tell you because it doesn't sound that good? Well, it was one of those moments. So she told me, Koshik, dad's passed away. In this video, I'm gonna share with you the process that I've gone through in navigating grief. There's no one process or magic formula. I'm just gonna share my experiences. I hope it's going to help you just listening to um, some of my experiences because I know when this happened to me, I was searching for answers. The first thing that really took me a while to really come to fruition, to really realize like what I should do. I didn't really realize what I should do. I was first of all in shock. So that might be happening to you. You're just being like, oh, what is going on? So I just, I didn't even feel anything because I just went into shock. Then after that, it was just a real feeling of something I've never felt in my life. Like. I just felt like I couldn't even, at points, I just wanted to just lay in bed all day. And so that kind of scared me because it was like, I never felt these such intense feelings before. And I'm just here to let you know, like, that's okay. Just accept whatever you're feeling because I think, especially like I'm into self-help and all that stuff and I'm like, I can't like just do my normal tricks and just get out of this. It's like, it's really just, I just feel like in this funk and that's fine. You know, just feel it, accept it and know that it's okay to feel the way that you are feeling. So in essence, just be compassionate with yourself and don't have any expectations. You might hear this adage, it takes time. And I thought, yeah, 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 it takes time. But it's really true. It really, I didn't understand what that meant because I was in just so much pain or I just felt so crappy. But the more that time progressed, like for the first probably three to six months, I was just feeling like, just the grief would just come. Sometimes it would go, it was like, it's kind of like an ocean, you know, with the waves. So some days it would be like really, really bad. And then other days it would just be, you know, it, I feel okay. But as time progressed, it became better and better. After I got past that six months, it felt better. Now it's been like a year and a half. And now I feel much better. And yeah, this is my personal timeline. So it's gonna be different for everybody. And that's what I experienced. So, but I did find personally that the time did heal and things did get better as time progressed. I don't know why that is, but it's just maybe my, I was just giving myself more and more time to process things. While going through this, it's really important to have radical self care because you're just like experiencing like these super intense emotions. So you really just, what I found is just taking the time to lay in bed as long as you need to lay in bed, doing whatever makes you feel good, whether that is spending time with friends, going for walks, taking a bath, just taking care of yourself and putting yourself as a priority so you are getting what you need and so you're healing and allowing yourself to heal and it's okay to put yourself as a priority and that's really important through this grieving process because you need that 
couple of things that I did that helped me when it all happened was going to, I went to Home Depot and I got this idea for my cousin, got a bunch of plants and then I planted some plants outside in front of my house in honor of my dad and memory of him. And that was just kind of a way to bring some form of closure. My dad uh, lived in Germany, so I didn't even really get to see him. And there's a whole COVID thing where we were separated during COVID. So it was a way to bring closure to this process. It, uh, it wasn't complete closure, but it was, a, it was one way to get me closer to closure. So planning those plants and just thinking of him and there's only one plant that's still alive now, but I can, when I look out there, I just, you know, I still think of him and it gave me a way to move through the grief a little bit faster. Another thing that helped me was creating a picture page, getting a bunch of pictures of my, my dad. It's kind of like a, another, it could be similar to a memory box, just getting a bunch of pictures and putting them out and looking back and those good memories, those positive memories and thinking about the times that we spent together. For me, this was important because uh, my parents were divorced, so I didn't get to spend a lot of time with my dad. So, you know, this is my own personal way that I navigated through that, that I didn't get to spend as much time as I wanted to with him. So by creating that picture page, it kind of, it made me feel more connected. To my, to my dad and now going from the point to where I was in that deep feeling of grief to now a year and a half later, I can tell you that personally for me, it's gotten a lot better where I feel like I have this personal connection. I have this personal connection with my dad and a lot of people say that like, you feel like you have this connection, you feel like they're looking over you and I feel like that's true for me. And that connection is the, the knowing that that person, that my dad is always with me and maybe that might be true for you. So hope my experience helped you a little bit. Love to hear your thoughts and comments, post them below. And I'll talk to you next time, bye.